Okay, let's talk about what the network, the active network capabilities of the NetExpert XG are. So we've got uh, kind of a mock network set up here at the booth here at Bixie. Um, I have a couple switches, routers, uh, patch cords, quite messy patch cords, kind of like real life. And we need to figure out exactly what equipment is connected, how it's connected, how, it's, how, it's, uh, how the network is organized. The NetExpert has a lot of fantastic tools to help you decipher those issues. So I'm going to go ahead and connect, pull up the network test screen here. And I'm going to go ahead and connect to this switch. And you can see it already goes and uh, starts, starts linking up. It's already going to pull a DHCP. So the one thing I did know before I net or interfaced with this network is I knew that it was a DHCP network. It's not a, uh, it's not a static network. Already you can see that I have pulled a uh, IP address. I can see that DHCP is enabled. I can see that this port is working at 100 meg. It's not a one gig port. I can see the gateway address, the DNS address, and the subnet mask. Now I can actually go in and also run a DHCP. So let's do that again. I can get more specific information now on the DHCP. I can see the uh, IP address of this device. Again, subnet, DNS server, you can see where that's located. Um, and I can also see the lease time. I can see the DHCP server IP, so uh, 168.01, which is my DHCP server, which is actually this router here. I can also see the response time. Another tool that we have at our disposal here is what's called Discovery, network discovery. We've got this map view here. We can just go ahead and start the test. And as you can see, it starts populating the various types of devices. So we've got routers, switches, hosts, printers, servers. And as it goes out and kind of pulls the network, it starts filling in this information. So now I've already got six hosts connected, a server, a switch, and a router. I can click on any any one of these areas and it's going to pull up that individual device. So we clicked on the server and I can see the MAC address of the server and I can see the IP address and also any DNS or NetBIOS name that if it was also published. Let's go back to the map view. Let's look at the hosts. Seven hosts listed. I can see all of those. I can see the MAC addresses and the IP addresses. One of those MAC addresses has no IP address. And you can see there's still items kind of populating as it goes out and pulls the network. Go back to map view. Let's look for the router. There it is. MAC address, IP address. It's defined it as a router. All of this can be shown all together. So now I can see all these devices together. And I can create a PDF of all this information or CSV, which is like an Excel file of all this information, and present that in a report to whoever. So we have a discovery list of various devices, hosts, routers, switches, servers, populated. All of these devices are, uh, are in white. If we had any that are in red, in other words, two devices would show up in red, that would mean that they have a conflicting IP address. We can also show conflicting MAC addresses, which can also exist. Um, and so it's a, it's a great way to immediately go out and kind of resolve any issues with devices who are improperly configured. So I can also go down and let's just choose a device and let's add that to the ping list. Let's choose another device and add this to the ping list. Let's choose another device and add this to the ping list. And another device, add to the ping list. Now let's go to our ping function. And notice I have a series of domains here. I have an IP address of 000 that's left over from a previous test. And I have also the four devices from my network discovery now added to this ping list. And I essentially now have a ping table 
So all these domains and all these IP addresses can now be pinged at the same time. It's really handy information. It's going to show ping statistics, but because they're all on the same table, I can see how they ping comparatively. Now that the pings are continuing, I can see how the individual devices perform on ping, and I can see how the domains perform on ping, and all, again, comparative to one another.